Um, let me talk about something I like. Um, is it anime? Oh, it's anime. Um, <laughs> boy, I if any of you are familiar with, with this, I will be stunned and thrilled. Oh, um, did you? Oh, I just it just rang a bell. Did you ever hear any of the uh, Monty Python audio uh, albums? Where they yes. sing the song about I like traffic lights. No. Oh, dang it. Okay. Well, that will yeah. we'll, another time. Another time. <laughs> it's fun. Um. All right. Welcome to Brent's Anime Recommendation Corner, where I talk about an anime that I happen to love. Uh, and this is Handmade May. I'm not quite sure why I love Handmade May. Um, I can, I mean, I will try to explain right now, but it is definitely one of those anime that came to me at just the right time. Um, it is the story of a young man who comes into possession of a little android girl, um, uh, a, a cyber doll named May, um, and the various adventures they have, and the harem he collects uh, over time, of course, because this is um, early 2000s anime, and that is a thing that happens. Um, and boy, is this an early 2000s anime. The art style, the approach to everything is very much that. Um, and I'm just going to check here real quick on the exact uh, date this came out. Um, it was 2000. Yeah, the year 2000. Yep. Um, and it is a goofy harem comedy. That is the thing that it is. Um, it is fun and silly and... and um, and energetic um, as this young man is uh, dealing with this little android maid uh, who's trying to clean up his house and she's very diligent and very you know um, does all the things um, it turns out that basically he um, oh is that a, that's yeah I can't tell you um, but basically all these little in, all, all these androids start showing up um, and you start getting all of these various uh, uh, plot lines involving them and what's going on now what attracts me to Handmade May? First, very easy to watch, right? This is the Doritos of anime. Um, just start, start, start munching, you'll be fine. Um, Little Maid falls in love with him immediately, of course. Um, and then various other cyber dolls show up, of course. Um, uh, and wackiness ensues. See if I can give you an uh, image of some of them. Um, there is some... Um, uh, there's a Loli, because of course... Um, naturally. <laughs> naturally. Um, and one of the things that attracts to me is that there's a fair number of anime in-jokes in it. At least I think they're anime in-jokes. Uh, one of the girls shows up and uh, you see various shadows of, of girls on a wall saying, you know, did you know she's going to show up and she's going to, um, you know, um, uh, make herself a, a visible to this guy whatever. Very much like Revolutionary Girl Utena. Um, when the little girl shows up, um, she has the power over electricity, and it often shows shots of like buzzing power lines. Um, very much like Lane. Lane. Again, oh. don't know. Uh, but there are a lot of little things like that sort of scattered throughout the, the, uh, the anime series where, reference or not, it's just kind of fun. Um, it also does a fine job of just being fun and cute and light until suddenly it's... Not. I don't want to get into spoilers. Um, one of the great things about Handmade May that kind of blew me away is that the theme of the show is about spending time with somebody you care about and making memories with that person. And then the finale makes that a very big, serious, dramatic element where the character's actions and future life and a, a ability to exist in the future is tied to that very thing. It also drives to that point and characters do things that can be quite sad and the series doesn't shy away from that. They let those things happen. And let the characters deal with the consequences of those things. And I was very impressed that the show is willing to, to do that. For a very light, silly, goofy, you know, year 2000 comedy. 
Um, so full disclosure there. Um, um, that said, again, the vast majority of this show is ridiculous, silly, goofy comedy. Um, it is, you know, very easy to watch, very, very much of that. Um, and just, it's 12 episodes, totally fine. Don't watch the sequel. Just don't bother. Um, they, they tried, and they, they didn't go anywhere. Um, but uh, they, they tried and failed. Um, Aww. But, uh, yeah, it, I, to be clear, like, when I say they failed, they started making an OVA and stopped. Like, they got partway through the OVA <laughs> and then just abandoned it, basically, as I understand it. It's that bad. Or it went that poorly. Um, but I was really, again, sort of, uh, it charred my socks off uh, most of the series. And then the ending is actually, a, the ending is actually an ending. Like, they actually tie together the, the, the themes of the, this silly little show, and execute on that in a real dramatic way um, to give you a, a genuinely touching ending. And, you know, hats off and applause to that, where at the end I felt, um, you know, dramatically a little bit wrought, um, but hopeful, like positive, right? Up, upbeat, upbeat ending uh, when all is said and done. So that is Handmade May. That, those are my thoughts on that, and uh, I hope you're able to stumble across it and uh, enjoy it too. So has anyone heard of Handmade May? That's my, my next question. <laughs>